Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today you're joining us for a golf garage clear out sale. So me and boys, we've just got back from Vegas, we've been on Robbo's stag do and we're absolutely broke. So, you know, I've come round to one at Lad's houses because he said he got loads of second hand equipment in garage that he's, he's collected over years and he's never, he's never been able to get rid of it because he buys second hand so he can't actually pot exchange it. And I said I'd come over and give him a hand and, you know, we've got some absolute hidden gems in here today. And we're going to be shipping these out, you know, UK, international. If you are international, get in the comments, guys, and we'll, we'll quote you a price depending on where you are. But, uh, you know, all this has got to go. You know, we're going to try and help, help this lad. I'll not mention his name. I'll not embarrass him, but he needs to get some money in the bank. He's spent way more than he should have, and his missus is going absolutely bonkers. So we're going to start off today with woods. You know, we've got quite a lot to get through. I can't do all this in one sitting. We're going to start off with woods. I don't know what's under the hoods on these because... It did say some of the head covers didn't match. So we're just gonna we're just gonna start off here. And I'm gonna tell you what we've got. We've got, first of all, we've got a tailor-made SLDR. This is actually a mini driver. It's an SLDRS 14 degree with a stiff shaft. Who would this suit? I'm guessing this would suit somebody who really struggles with a driver. Probably somebody that you know enjoys it in a fairway wood a little bit more because it's got 14 degrees loft. It's almost just a little bit stronger than a free wood, but with a giant head. So I would say this is for somebody really struggling with a driver, wants something a little bit more smaller and compact and traditional. And we're going to go, I'm going to quote prices within the UK shipped, but if you are international, I'll say get in the comments and uh, I'll quote you a price. It's a stiff shaft, looks like a mid-launching shaft, 14 degree, giant, dry, giant fairway wood we should say. Just normal use marks, nothing major. No sky marks or anything like that. Let's go £99 delivered on that one. I know they're fetching a lot of money because the mini drivers are very sought after. What have we got here? So this is a ping fairway wood cover, but it's not a ping. It's a Callaway, great big Bertha 2. It's a 5 wood. It's actually got, this is an unbelievable shaft. It's got a biometric, so this is graphite at the top. Then it, it goes into steel, so it's very tip stiff, this one. And uh, it's in a firewood, so I would imagine with this shaft in, you get a very, very strong fly. This is for somebody that probably needs a firewood loft to, you know, because of struggle with fairway woods, off, you know, something to hit off the tee. But with that shaft, in, it's going to come out like a missile. So it's going to be for a very hard hit to this one with this shaft. And it's a stiff biometric shaft. It's a little perler, actually. It's in great condition. Uh, we'll go 45 delivered on that one within the UK. Right, we've got a little ladies club here. This could suit, well, a lady of course. We've got a TaylorMade M2. It's an absolute, that's an absolute beauty. Look at that one guys. You know, it's absolutely pearl. There's not a sky mark on it. It looks like it's barely been used. It looks like it's the 2016 model. I can't believe time's flying, isn't it? But it's an absolute beaut of a club. High launch, it'll be 13.5 degree with a lady's shaft. Going to suit lady, it's going to suit possibly a senior who's not particularly that tall. Or maybe like a youth, a junior, somebody like that. Let's go on that one. I'll have a little bargain in there for you. We'll have 99 delivered on that one. And that is an absolute perler. Great, great club that one. What we've got, oh, we've got a G425. Is that what's under the hood? There might be a bit of interest in this one. Quite a modern one. It, it is a G425. It's a G425 LST 9 degree with a stiff tow shaft in it. Condition wise, you know, I'm not here to lie. It's not in the best condition, actually. There's, there's no sort of heavy shaft wear, but the shaft rubs, you know, on the, on the top surface, on the... Uh, I don't know what you call it on the varnish maybe, but it's not black, it's just rub marks. And then on the bottom of the club, I don't know if you can see, you know, these do mark quite easily, the pink clubs, but it has probably got, I'd grade the head of six condition. There's no sky marks, so there's no paint off the top, but, you know, across the face there's a few marks and, you know, the bottom, the sole of the club looks, you know, a little bit worn. I'd be, I'd be giving it a six out of ten condition. And based on the condition, I'm going to, you know, reflect that in the price a little bit. We're going to go... 270 delivered and I've had to do a bit of research on that one these are fetching well over 300 you know in really good condition 
So 270 delivered on that one. What we got here, I don't know what's under the hood on any of these. Tight list, 915D2. I used to have one of these. This is an eight and a half degree. This boy must hit it hard. And it's got a Diamana stiff. It's a white board, this. So again, a low launching shaft. Eight and a half degrees, you know, obviously a low loft. This is for a hard hitter. This is for somebody that probably hits the ball up in the air and wants to control spin. You know, I've had this spec myself, actually, whiteboard stiff uh, in eight and a half degree. We're going to go on that one. £100 delivered, I would say. There's no sky marks on it again. Again, we've been a black face. You have got some marks just a little bit sort of high in the face, but no sky marks, which, you know, from the top, it's going to look absolutely fine. We're going to go 99 on that one delivered. Has he got anything with softer shafts? How many drives does this boy buy? I think he needs to go get a fitting, doesn't he, instead of keep buying second hand. Callaway XR Speed. I'm not sure how old that is now. It's, I don't think it's that old. It's sort of like a bit of a... It's a nice colour blue from the top. Carbon fibre sort of crown. It's got a stiff shaft in again. Nine degrees. So this boy does hit it hard. And he, he, must, he must spin it up a lot, so... You know, he's obviously trying to keep the ball flat down. Lovely looking club. There's, there is a head cover with that one. Was it the original? I don't think it were, was it? I have got a head cover for that. It's not the original. We're going to do that one. There's a slight little dint just here. It won't affect performance. It's just on the bottom of the club. It's just a, a really little dint. It's not going to, you know, it's no damage that's going to affect performance. It's not had any big dinks. It's just a little mark. Uh, we're going to go £99 delivered on that one. You know, what me and Sam are doing is we're trying to make, you know, it affordable. We're trying to sort of put stuff in here that under £100 if we can. I mean, I've got some sets of Ryan's here, of course, that, you know, they're going to be quite expensive. But there's plenty of stuff here for under under pound if anybody's trying to build a set. Oh, what's this? This is a bit of an oldie. I don't think anybody's going to be bothered with this, but I've pulled it out of the bag. So it's a big berth of steel head, nine degree. It's a bit of a classic, maybe a bit of fun for someone. Firm flex. I've actually had a similar drive since you have the, Haw the Hawkeye back in the day. We'll go, what can we do? £20 delivered. If anyone wants a bit of a laugh with the mates and uh, try one of them. Oh, we've got a hybrid. And this is not too old, this one. We've got a Cobra. It's a, uh, a King SZ. It's got the two rails on the bottom. I reckon these are still current clubs. I'm not, we don't stock Cobra, so I'm not 100% sure, but I reckon that's still current. It's a 19 degree. Again, a stiff shaft, recoil shaft. Condition-wise, 6 out of 10. You know, there's no sky marks, but the top, the top of the crown here at the top, there's a few like sort of imperfections on there. And I think based on that, we're going to go £70 delivered on that one. And uh, there isn't a head cover, unfortunately. What we got under here? Ooh, this is naughty. This is a number three hybrid. So again, a 19 degree. That's a perler as well. It's absolutely, f you know, there's no, it's flawless. There's no marks on it at all. 19 degree. Stiff shaft, Fujikora, 80, so it's a heavy stiff, so this is going to be quite a, a low, strong, penetrating flight, 19 degree. A bit like a two-iron club, five-wood replacement, possibly. You know, something a bit stronger than your three-iron. We're going to go on that one. 75 delivered, and it's got a little bit of a retro cover on that. Where are we going? We've got Mizuno. MP001, these, if you were around when these were out and you had one of these, these were absolutely unbelievable. Carbon fibre crown. It's quite a small compact fairway wood, that actually, you know, in relation to modern day fairway woods. It's a little bit deeper face, but a little bit sort of smaller and compact. It's almost like a bit of a, a mini fairway wood, you could say. But they were aimed at higher to mid handicappers. And I remember my dad used to have these, he used to absolutely love them. So it's a four wood, 16.5, regular shaft. Uh, we'll go £40 delivered on that one with the original cover. That's definitely a little bit of a retro find. Who's building a retro bag? I know this is becoming quite popular now, 
people are buying second set of clubs just for a bit of fun and you know putting all the all their old favourites in there. You know, get in the comments, guys. It might be something I do. What would you have in a retro bag? You know, retro irons, retro fairway, retro putter. Your favourites from over the last thirty years. What would you be putting in that set? Because uh, it might be something I do. The King Cobra at four forty SZ, ten point five regular. Now, wow, they did make a noise. I think this is possibly one of the loudest drivers on the market. I remember when I was a junior, I used to play at a, a municipal golf club, and Pro was selling these Cobra drivers, and you know you'd stand up on first tee, and you you know you just hear bang, bang, bang. You know all these drivers going off around you. It were it were comical, really. Um, and this is the last fairway wood or the last wood that we've got today this is an oldie but goodie or is it just an oldie I don't know I'll let you decide it's a Mizuno Tzoid Forge free wood regular shaft you know again it's going to be a little bit of fun this one it may, may be someone's first fairway wood first free wood on a budget it's good twenty pound, you know. Let's get it in someone's bag. It could be a worldie, it could be a fail, but for twenty pound, what are you going to lose? Have we got time to put any woods in or wedges? Sorry. Let's stick a couple of wedges in. What have we got? Have we got any? We got any? Got one wedge. I think we've just got one wedge, so we might as well do that, don't we? Get that wedge in. Let's get the two. No, I'll save the two iron for the next one because that's a little beauty. So we've got a 54 degree, an ATV, it's a tailor made, it's got a mid size grip on it, standard wedge flex. 54 degree guys, it's like a modern day sandwich now, you know, with strong the strong lofts, 56 is probably not the, the sort of traditional sandwich loft anymore. It's more sort of 54, then you might go 60 in your in your lob wedge. Uh we'll go 25 delivered on that one. We'll give that one away to somebody. I'm sure someone will be uh I'm sure the comments will be going mad for that one at 25. Grooves are still good. Someone's first little specialist sound wedge. So I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. It's been a bit of a quick fire through tonight. As I said, we've just got back from Vegas, so I'm still feeling jet lag. Uh, but I'm looking forward to making some good content next week. I'm going to be getting out on course again. And we're going to be uh, finding another top 100. So, uh, you know, definitely tune in for that one, guys. If it's the first time you've watched... You know, hit that subscribe button uh, and we're going to keep keep bringing this real content to you. Um, you know, as I say, I'm in a garage in Barnsley tonight. So uh, it's a little bit different, but just trying to help a mate out and hopefully help somebody find a bargain. So we'll see you in a few days time, guys, where we'll be going through the rest of the equipment. I've got a few sets of irons here. There's a few naughty putters, some really naughty putters here. Uh, this guy's got good taste, in my opinion but he needs to stop buying second-hand clubs. Um, so, yeah, we'll leave it on that note one, and I'll see you in a few days' time. Bye.